All right, we're about to introduce the 100 offense or our Team Carolina base offense. The idea from this is, is first, let's talk about the sets, but basically there's two different boxes contained within this offense, and each box has some specific actions that can take place. So let me draw it. So the, the initial set is we got four players, and the beauty of this offense is that nothing is position specific. Naturally, yes, we're going to have three midfielders up here, one attackman here, four guy, or two guys there, but any player should understand all six different spots. And that's the idea, is that as this offense gets flowing, guys are going to find themselves in different spots, and they got to understand the basic principles and patterns that need to take place. So if you think about it, I mentioned this idea of like two main boxes, right? These are basically a, a four-man team working together and a two-man team that's working together. So that's the initial setup. We like this little bit of a, uh, of a higher crease to give space behind and these spots through there, right? So that's the initial setup that we wanna be able to work through. So now that we understand the basic spots that we want to be, let's talk through some of the major dodging opportunities that we're gonna see within this. So there's really four main dodges that we wanna train with our guys. So there's what we call a low wing dodge, attack dodge, sweep, and alley. And we put these honestly in, in order of importance because for us, any sort of analytics or research is shown in lacrosse that the higher percentage shots take place as we get closer to the field. So our alley dodge is last because that's gonna push us down the size. We wanna to try to create opportunities for us to work towards the middle of the field if we can. It doesn't always work out that way. So let's work through the patterns of this. So knowing we have our spots here, and I'm gonna make this a, a little bit better reference point because I think this will actually be a little bit lower, but these guys are all set up. Let's talk through a low wing. So low wing would be this guy here getting the ball. Now, again, we don't want this to be like a high alley dodge. We actually want him to be a little bit lower so he would shift his way down just a touch, and then he's attacking the cage from there. As he's getting in, or whether the ball's getting moved around, that's the beauty, is we're moving as the ball's getting moving around. These attackmen should be working themselves to X in the backside of the cage. As the dodge takes place, so they should be there before the dodge happens, but as the dodge takes place, we have our middle guy who's working to fill that spot, be an outlet potentially for a shot or to fill. We have this guy making a hard cut to the ball. And we have this guy making a hard backside cut to be open. This Dodger has a couple options. His first option is to, what, is to hit what we call the cycle, this guy at X. We're calling it the cycle because he can cycle it up to the backside. So he can either shoot to score, he can work to hit X as we're doing that. As that happens, the ball gets moved, we would then push up the backside. But notice, if you follow the patterns, we continue to be in the same offense. So as these guys work to make their cuts, they are actually still in the positions that we set in the beginning. So if we don't get a score here, we bang it here and we push the backside, these guys are already set up in position to be able to do something with it. So that's really the low wing. 